Hi, welcome to Do Info. Few months ago, I uploaded a video about if external drive is not showing in your computer, how you can fix that, which got really good response and got almost 100,000 views. That means it worked for most of the people. And for those it didn't work, they mentioned that they are not able to change the drive letter and it grayed out. Yes, if you are facing the same problem, then watch this video to fix that issue. When you plug in an external hard drive or thumb drive in your computer, you can go to the computer management page and change the drive letter for it to make it work. But if the drive letter option is grayed out, then most probably it is previously formatted on a MacBook or Mac. Yes, Mac formatted drives has a different file system, which you cannot read on Windows. And is there any other way to read a Mac formatted drive on the Windows? Sure, yes, there is. That's what we are going to talk about. But for this, you need to install a really small free application on your computer, which is HF S Explorer. HFX Explorer is a completely free, it's a basic application designed to help user read the Mac formatted hard drive. Open your browser, Google Chrome and type HFS Explorer. Don't click on the first ad, it's an advertisement and they will install other application as well. Go to their ORG page here and here you can see uh, the bunch of options to download. So download install Microsoft or Windows, click here. You can see it's installing. Once the installation is done, just click on it to install. Just next, next, next. Finish. Open it by clicking on the Windows icon and go to HFX Explorer. Yes. And it also required a Java to run the application. So install at this point if you haven't installed before. So let's so download and install Java. Once the download is done, just go ahead and install it. Okay, once the Java is installed, you can then go ahead and open the HFX Explorer. And here you go. If your external drive is already connected, then click on File and choose first option load files from the system then here click on auto detect and then it will show you automatically your drive which formatted on the max click ok and boom here you go you can see all your data from here now select the folder extract here and then you can extract that folder to an external drive or somewhere else on your computer okay so until now you are able to back up your uh, your data uh, you cannot write the data on the same external hard drive and the flash drive 
in order to make it useful on our windows computer going forward you need to reformat that drive for that one you need to go to the dos to the dos prompt so open windows icon click cmd and run as administrator click yes now in cmd there are few commands i will put that in description as well but uh, you can just follow those commands first of all type disk part you can see this part is selected now you say list disk you can see there are two disks listed now here is very very important you select the right disk to format don't format your uh, like a d drive or c drive where the windows install or uh, any useful one In case i have only 29 gigabyte one so i can see select disk one this one is now selected now press clean so type clean and press enter this part succeeded in cleaning the disk okay so now we have formatted the usb our external thumb drive we can repartition and make this active using the command prompt but it's better to do it back to the computer management and go to computer management again go to the disk management and now you can see here is a 29.3 gb unallocated space right click click on new simple volume click next just make all one partition click next assign the following drive letter if you don't like the e uh, you can change something else but uh, i go with the the default one whatever it's selected e ntfs partition you can choose choose fat 32 or ntfs ntfs is better just don't touch anything here as well just press next and finish wait a few second and while this is formatted and now you can see the the drive e ntfs format and 29.9 gig is active so let's unplug this one at this point and plug back in and you can see here in this pc you can see 29 gigabyte and boom you can now read and write in the folder and if you are still having any issue please comment then below and uh, we will try to resolve that issue i will catch you up in the next video until then bye bye